The Pacific Ocean's true scale is hard to grasp from world maps. As the largest ocean, it covers nearly a third of the Earth's surface, an area of about 180 million square kilometers. This is vast enough to contain all of the planet's continents. We can only truly appreciate its intimidating size through satellite imagery, which shows a region almost entirely devoid of land, with continents clustered on the other side of the planet. At the heart of this emptiness is Point Nemo, the farthest point on Earth from any land, also known as the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility. The nearest landmass is 2,600 kilometers away. The area is so remote and geologically active that ships avoid it. Often, the closest humans are astronauts aboard the International Space Station, 400 kilometers above. Beyond its surface area, the Pacific is also the world's deepest ocean. It contains the deepest known point on Earth, the Mariana Trench. This trench was formed around 60 million years ago when the Pacific tectonic plate slid beneath the Eurasian plate. Its lowest point, the Challenger Deep, reaches a depth of 11,034 meters, deep enough to easily submerge Mount Everest. The conditions there are extreme, with immense pressure, freezing temperatures, and complete darkness. The Pacific's emptiness is explained by plate tectonics. After the supercontinent Pangaea broke apart, the lower-density Pacific plate began sliding under other continental plates upon collision. This created a 40,000-kilometer-long subduction zone of trenches and fissures known as the Ring of Fire. This region is where about 85% of the world's volcanoes and 80% of its earthquakes occur. The Japanese archipelago lies within this zone, and its landmass is currently sliding towards the Mariana Trench at a rate of 4 to 5 centimeters per year. The seemingly calm Pacific is, in reality, incredibly active. It is humbling to realize that humans have explored only about 5% of the ocean, meaning 95% remains a mystery that could hold countless secrets. For this reason, we must always maintain a sense of awe and respect for the ocean.